What's going on today, guys? My name is Jason Wojo. You have probably seen my ads everywhere on Instagram. And today I want to go over how I went from, you know, being a college dropout in culinary school to then owning a seven figure agency in under two years and now having an in house office with over 45 plus employees. Make sure you like this video, subscribe because I'll be posting at least two to three videos a week, making sure you guys are updated with, you know, what's going on in my life sales calls, daily vlogs, stuff like that. Also answering questions on Instagram where you can follow me at, at the Jason Wojo, which will be in the description below. But let's get right into today's video. So for you guys who may know me already, um, you've probably seen my ads on Instagram. I run a full service digital marketing agency, Wojo Media, which is after my last name. Well, the nickname of my last name, which is Jason Wojo. Um, and that's what I named it after when I was about, you know, 19 years old, it was about April of 2018 is when I first, you know, had this startup. Um, I was, you know, still living with my parents back in New York and I was trying to you know, figure things out of my life because I didn't know if like college was the right route for me. Um, at the time, you know, when I moved back in with my parents after culinary school, I did wind up dropping out of that. I used to work at a cafe when I was like 15, 16 years old and I didn't really have any self-awareness. And my boss was like, Hey man, like you're, you know how to cook. Um, somewhat, it was just breakfast food, nothing serious, but I'd like really no self-awareness. I had no idea what I wanted to do. So I decided to take his advice. I enrolled to go to SUNY Delhi. Um, and it wind up like being one of the dumbest things I ever did. Um, culinary school was just like really boring to me. I hated sitting in class. I hated doing all that stuff. I hated going to labs. Um, and, and I honestly made me hate cooking. And now I literally have not cooked in God knows how long because I just don't like it whatsoever. It's too tedious. It's not productive. Doesn't let me allocate my time correctly. Um, and these things you're going to start to learn about me as you, you know, watch my videos here on out. It's like the way that I view money, time and all that stuff. Um, you're really going to start to like hone in on your productivity, and understand like the biggest things that you actually need to get done and how to use your time wisely. I feel like a lot of people who are 18 to 24 are going through like kind of a mental health crisis and they really just have no idea who they are. and They don't know like what their place in this world is and they're just really confused. And the reason why is because you have no self-awareness. And that's like the number one thing that I grabbed when I was, you know, that age. So I wind up dropping out of culinary school. I was flipping Pokemon cards, not going to class. I was being rebellious. I was partying. I was drinking. I was smoking. I was doing all these things that like you probably shouldn't be, but I was just trying to find myself. And me being more social was probably the biggest thing that I got out, that I got out of college. I didn't learn anything like educational wise uh, because self-awareness was like the most important thing that I needed to understand first before I really got to that next level and was able to know like, hey, like I belong here. I should be doing this. And this is the best allocation of my time. And this is what's more important to me. And I didn't know those things because I was just partying and being a clown. Um, so two semesters, I was flipping Pokemon cards. I wasn't going to class. Um, you know, within three months of the last semester, I made like 20 grand just flipping Pokemon cards. Dropped out, moved back in with my parents. Um, I was working. I had, I had a couple jobs when I was first starting out. I was working at a life insurance place as an assistant. I was working at a financial firm. I worked at a golf course for like two days and then I got fired. I actually got fired on the first day. So I worked there like weekends um, before summer of 2019. And then I basically like got fired um, the first day that I moved all my stuff in to have like the summer internship. Actually, that was 2018, my fault, because 2019 in May was when I moved to Orlando. Um, and you know, probably between 2018 and 2019, I was working with a ton of local businesses. I was starting to get my feet wet because when I was an assistant at that life insurance company, I was watching a lot of YouTube in the office. So I wasn't doing much. I was just doing a couple files and just like taking a couple calls a day. And I had a lot of time on my hands. So I would sit there, watch YouTube, you know, eat my lunch, just chill out. Cause I really, I, I would, I'll be there for like six hours and maybe do one hour of work. So I was watching YouTube, came across Ty Lopez's SMMA course, bought that. Um, I think it was like 297 at the time. It was like a lot of money to me, but I wound up buying it, went through the course, started going after local businesses like restaurants, barbershops. I had a painting company. I had like a remodeling business um, that I was doing like social media management for all that stuff. And I was getting paid like a couple grand a month from all the clients combined. So obviously making more than being an assistant at a life insurance company. I was, thinking I was making like 700 bucks every two weeks or something like that. Um, so I wound up dropping that. 
Then I was like, hey, like since I was going to business school when I dropped out of culinary school, because I realized like from flipping the Pokemon cards, it was probably my best interest to, you know, probably stay in the business world. So I wound up doing that stuff mostly online, um, some in in class, but I was barely showing up to. I have like a whole system of like how I basically beat the school system, but that's another conversation. Um, and I essentially was fulfilling these services for all these businesses. I was working at a financial firm on the side. I was making good money there. I was doing website development, LinkedIn, um, you know, video ads, stuff like that. I was learning a lot of more digital marketing on the side. Um, I was a part of that project that like helped them rebuild the site, do all the coding, all the animations, all that fun stuff. I learned so much there that I then took into like my own clients. And then I got fired from that job. Um, not because of bad reasons, just like I was done with the internships. They're like, all right, you got to go. Um, so after that was when I finally realized that like I had to stop depending on people. I feel like jobs would always be like that. You know, even though they were internships, like I knew would come to an end, but like, I just literally hated the fact of like, you know, like you end this job and you have to figure something else out and then you might have to relocate. It's, it's like, it's just too much. It's too much mental capacity. Um, so I just decided that I was going to, you know, scale out this agency and I did so. Um, for that next like six to eight months before I graduated from college, I focused primarily on Wojo Media, got it to about maybe five to six grand a month, and then I moved out. Um, and that was the day right after graduation, which I did not attend. I actually took my parents on a cruise instead. And then the next day after that, I told them like, hey, like I'm leaving in the morning to go to Orlando. And they were like stunned. So I took my car, drove all the way down to Orlando, started my whole new life. I was living in a house. Um, with a bunch of college kids from UCF. Um, I didn't know anybody there. I literally never looked at the house, never met anybody. I just went on Facebook Marketplace, found a really warm place. Orlando seemed to be warm. So I was like, okay, we're going to go to Orlando. And I just picked a house, got the lease, signed it. And I was paying like seven fifty a month, all utilities included. And I was just living there. Um, for the first three months though, I was like very like addicted to the freedom. And I was like partying again. And I was like doing stupid shit. Um, I met this guy, Harrison, who literally moved right in next to me in the room. And um, he was like a big partier. He went to Cincinnati, University of Cincinnati. He was there for an internship. We were just like partying a lot, having fun. I was kind of like enjoying my youth a little bit because that was the stuff that I missed out on when I was like in college more so because I only had like one year of college where I was actually having fun. And then I realized that it wasn't that smart. And then I went three years of like being serious. And then when I got to Orlando, I wanted to have a little bit of fun again. So I went through that little span of time. And then while I was doing that, I was, you know, building my business, posting content on Instagram. I was building my following. I was doing all like these, these small things because Harrison moved out three months after I got to Orlando because it was just an internship for him. So after like August was when I went really, really hard. I was working like 15 hours a day. I was like barely, you know, doing anything other than work. I was only working and working. Um, and then from there, I just really built up the agency built up cash. And then I finally started running ads probably around, you know, in the middle of 2020 in about June or July, I started running ads to get leads. And also I had an offer that was 100 ad templates that I was pushing. Um, and these were two offers that I was running. They did very, very well. Um, I actually went from making like 10 to 20 K a month at one point. And then September, October, November, were like my three biggest months ever. And I actually made more money then than I do now. Um, interesting enough. It's because of like just the scalability of a front end offer that was running without getting banned on Facebook. Like I went from a 20K month to like a 600K month and then a 400K month. And then like it, I got banned. So I had a lower month in, in November. And then after that, I said, hey, listen, like I'm not going to let Facebook ban me because I can't control lead flow or how people come into my ecosystem. So I have to make a lead gen funnel. And I tested many variations to like having a booked call and I was taking about 10 to 15 calls a day. Like the, the lead system wound up working and then I had to replace myself. So I was recording a lot of the calls. I replaced myself and then I found like three sales closers. I started that. So I was like, at this point I was really pivoting a lot into being like, not just a solopreneur right now and being like a leader. And this all happened very quickly. I would just really consume myself in a lot of like, I guess you say like masterminds and like courses, stuff like that. Like the whole buying of the course thing is actually like really, really helpful. Like there's so many tad bits that you can take for every little person's information that you can use in, in your own you know business. I took a lot of advice from like really like big entrepreneurs um, that I was a part of masterminds with that were doing lead gen funnels for agencies just like myself. 
and I swiped it. I used it myself and it worked. Um, and then I obviously implemented my own, my own kinks into it. Um, and then I wound up scaling that out. So like now, you know, we, you know, we've been virtual for years now. Um, I've had about 35 team members virtual now about 40. Um, I have another three to five in house right now. I just got this office here in Daytona beach. Um, and we service over 115 plus clients. Uh, we spend about one to two million dollars a month on ads across all clients. I myself, I spend about 100, 120 grand a month on ads. Um, we book about 25 to 45 appointments a day. I have seven sales reps. You know, have over 50 team members now. So like everything's really developed a lot. But like the biggest things that I want you to take from this video are, it's not always about like where you currently are in your situation. Like. If you really think back and look at this video, like I was in culinary school, I went there for a year, just like most people who might go to school for a year, drop out, and then they wind up getting a job because they feel lost. It's like I went from not having any fucking clue to what I was doing, a year in culinary school, hated it, dropped out, parents thought I was an idiot. I was living in a closet in my parents' house. Like my room was not supposed to be a room. It was like a closet. It was like an 800 square foot home in New York. Like they didn't really have much money. So we had to live in this like really small modular home. Um, and it's like, whatever situations that come your way, it's always about, you know, how you obviously adapt to those and then how you take that experience and go to the next thing. And it's never like, oh, well, this one situation is going to define you. Like so many people let one thing define the way they like navigate their lives. And it's fucking terrible. Like you should not be doing that. Um, you need to understand that like you're young and people 18 to 24, you try to rush through things so fast. You try to figure out who you are so quickly. And you really don't realize how young you really are. Like now I'm 24 and like, I'm still young. I, I could literally fall asleep for six years, not do anything. And I'd still be young. I'd be 30 years old. But society has told us that we have to get a degree by 25 and we have to have this figured out. We have to pay for health insurance by 26. And we have to have this amount of money in the bank by 30. We have to retire by 62. We got to do all these stupid asinine things. When the realistic thing is like, that's not your life. Like you shouldn't be predicating your decisions on what society wants you to do. Um, and like these, these things I'm going to go over in like more videos to come and obviously answering your, your questions and answers. You can drop them in the comment section, or like I said, just go on Instagram. It's down below in the description. You can ask me questions to make YouTube videos about. Um, but yeah, and then as far as like our services and like what we do, you're probably wondering, well, you run an agency. What do you do? Well, we run Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Google ads, TikTok, Snapchat. Um, I do run native ads as well. We build websites. Uh, we do sales team training. We do, you know, lead gen based funnels, e-com, service based businesses, B2B, B2C, you name it. We basically do every single niche. The only niches that we're not really into right now are like CBD, crypto, anything that's like MLM or network marketing. We don't do that at all just because it's like, it's really not crazy scalable when you have an ad agency running it because I can't really take a rev share or a profit share from it. Um, but that's really it. I mean... Like I said, now, you know, we're, we're doing well. I want to take you on this journey over these, you know, next how many years I'm running this business. And I want to do a lot more with this channel. I want to post more like educational content. I want to show you guys like sales calls that I'm on, closing strategies, ad strategies, you know, scaling your business, what softwares I'm using, stuff like that. That's actually going to help you like grow your business and that you can implement within 24 hours, like not kidding you. Um, there's like in, in December, it's our slowest month. And in December alone, I was able to build out a fully automated system just for my agency. And I actually have a second business that I'm going to be going over and like the kinks between the two and how I'm able to cross sell service. Like there's so much value. So if you're an agency owner, starting entrepreneur, I don't care if you're like running your own ads and you're trying to get more insight or you're trying to get into business and don't know what kind of business to start or how to look at business then I suggest you subscribe and really start to get used to my content because this is something where I'm young. And if you're 18 to 24, this is definitely going to be good content for you to understand um, and obviously implement into your life and business. So subscribe down below, like the video if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.